everyone, it's Anne from Anne Ellis Angels and I'm here with your card readings for the coming week. These are general readings, so take from them everything that resonates with you, leave behind anything else, but most importantly, enjoy a really positive week. I'll be using my teacup tarot deck and later on, I will clarify with my time to shine deck. Sagittarius, here are your cards for this week, starting the 9th of October. From the Teacup Tarot, the Time to Shine Oracle, the Mini Messages and Mini Mindfulness decks. So let's get on with your reading. Your overall energy, the Two of Wands, is all about teamwork. Working alongside somebody else. Two heads being better than one. And when they both work together, that's where the success can be found. So positive partnerships and working alongside somebody else. Your help or your hurdle, the strength card says, be assertive. You can be assertive and kind all at the same time. They go well together. And when you mix those two things together, you'll get a lot further, a lot faster. Your guidance, unity, again, working with other people. This is about everybody bringing their individual talents to the table for the benefit of everybody else. It's talking things over, meetings, teaching, mentoring, finding new ways of doing things. So very much a card of conversation and collaboration. How can we help ourselves? The Four of Coins says, look at situations of too much or too little and strike a balance right down the middle. And look, she needs to balance these scales. She's got too many on this side. So this is work-life balance. This is financial balance. How much time are you giving away and not taking time out for yourself? All of those things need considering and a balance made between them all. Pulling it all together, we've got the King of Wands. That's lovely. Now, the kings are authority figures in the deck. And the King of Wands has a very entrepreneurial energy about them. Successful, confident. The King of Wands is successful because they've had to learn how to be. And just as importantly, they are happy to share that knowledge with other people with a how-to plan. So this could be you stepping up and helping other people with a how-to plan. Or it could be somebody coming in to help you. Your outcome card, the Knight of Wands. So you've got the King and the Knight. Now, the Knights are all fast-moving energy. That's why they all have a motorbike in the deck. And the Knight of Wands is the fastest of them all. Coming in with the message to think it through and act with care. So when things get busy, when things take off, when there are decisions to be made quite quickly and choices, think it all through and get some sound advice before you do. So looking at the tarot cards on their own, working with others, talking it over, working out a plan, being assertive when you need to be and kind at the same time, focusing on balance and then getting busy with this how-to plan for success. So let's get a little bit more information from the Time to Shine deck. Talking about plans, I've just said the word plan, and here we have the word on this card. This is you moving in a new direction with a brilliant new plan. This is where this king of wands is going to be helping you. Just as importantly, it's learning from experience. So put all that wisdom and knowledge into your new plan. The nine of life says it's time for you to relax and enjoy some little luxuries. Take some time out for self-care. 
after all your hard work, this is you being reminded to enjoy that and take some time out. The seven of action is all about standing up for yourself and thinking your choices through with care. Here it is again. Gentle, kind assertiveness can really help you this week. The ten of action says the busy time is over with. The challenging time is over with. Just for now, take some time out. Have a cup of tea and a chocolate biscuit. Rest and relax. Recharge these energy levels because you're going to be getting a new plan together and moving forward. So make sure your work-life balance is balanced. The Four of Wisdom card, the Emperor in traditional tarot says, get organised. This is you stepping up, getting organised, making your new plan, staying disciplined. It also says, show those leadership qualities. And your final outcome card, you're clearly going to take notice of all of this. This is happiness and joy. You jumping for joy. Dreams coming true. High levels of self-confidence. It's your time to shine. So looking at the cards, your mindfulness homework. Coming through very strongly is standing up for yourself with kind assertiveness. Talking things over, having conversations, collaborations and staying balanced, making sure work-life balance is in this plan because there's a brilliant new plan, a fantastic movement forward. Here's your how-to plan. Here's you making your plan. Moving forward, this is all happening at this side of the reading. Here you are, dashing forward to joy, happiness and success. So well done you. What a lovely, lovely week, Sagittarius. So let's just finish the reading off with a message from the mini messages. From the inspiration suit, self-esteem. Believe in yourself, spread your wings and fly. How fantastic is that? And your final outcome card, Kindness, a little kindness goes a long way. We were talking about assertiveness with kindness mixed in. When you mix those together, you get so much further, so much faster. So have a brilliant week. I hope you've enjoyed the reading. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. So have a great week and I'll see you here again next week. So take care. 